Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Tutor, and today we're going to be looking at Unity's brand new real-time cinematic trailer be called The Enemies, and this is from their award-winning demo team, which have been creating high-end visuals for their past several years when they showcase very specific demos at the Game Developer Conference. Now, this has seen improvements across HDRP and new additions like high-end adaptive pro volume lighting with strand-based hair solutions and an evolved version of the digital human toolkit, which has featured in previous years. So today we're going to look at this, talk about what new technologies Unity have been using and look at the two prominent developers from this team and their discussion that they've had and questions that they've been asked and their interview that they've been asked at 80 dot lv which can give you a more of an in-depth look and in how this was actually created and how it might help you in the future in the tools that you might be able to get hold of so remember this demo is specifically a real-time 3d piece of technology to allow you to grow the expectations of what you can have in visual quality and realism put together so whether we'll see this fully integrated in games to a big extent is yet to be seen and what technology will branch its way over. So the enemies project does expand from the heretic, which was featured in 2018. And this has a better 4D pipeline. It's got a skin attachment system on the GPU side, which allows for super high density meshes for really, really high realism, more realistic eye effects with acoustics on the iris and brand new skin shader because in this demo, the skin shader really does look absolutely top notch. And then very specific tension tech for blood flow simulation, wrinkle maps, and eliminating the need for facial rigs for very realistically fine grained details. So remember, this is all based in the HDRP or the high definition render pipeline. So this has a whole bunch of brand new features, which either are in there or will be coming, which include adaptive probe volumes, screen space global illumination, real time ray trace reflections, ray traced ambient occlusion, and native support for NVIDIA's deep learning super sampling. And the demo runs fully at 4K. It does have their brand Brand new strand based real time hair solution. So, in this, the protagonist has super, super refined realistic hair, and it's an all new solution for authoring, importing, simulating, rendering strand based hair by strand by strand. And it works with authoring tools that output data in the Alembic format. And the team uses Maya XGen for validating the pipeline with Weta Barbershop. So this integrates with a lot of the things that Unity have purchased recently. So this demo will be featured at the Unity booth at the GDC Game Developers Conference between the 23rd and the 25th of March. And the demo team will release the hair solution in an updated digital human package in quarter two of 2022. And you might well see this demo at a similar time. So these are the things that you've got to look out for. So sometime in 2022, we may well see this demo. We're going to have a look at the two prominent developers from this. I'm going to take a look at some questions that Natalia and Veselin, the two prominent directors of this team, have been asked on what their mission was and how they achieved some of the biggest things that they needed to consider. So they were asked that if people mostly consider Unity as a toolkit for game developers, but with all the recent enhancement, can the software make a step up to filmmaking and other things along the way from there? And they specify that even though Unity has its roots in game development, that the platform has adapted for many industries creating 3D real-time applications and the Unity is in a better place for more developers and a creator should not be limited to the scope of what the tool is meant to do and from the projects like Enemies, Heretic and productions like NPCs Lion King, which were done with Unity to Netflix's The Adam Project or The Umbrella Academy or Apple's Ted Lasso because there's lots of award-winning productions, whether it's automotive with vehicles, film, and cinema. And now you have power with the best in-class tools with fast character creation through Ziva Dynamics, and the amazing workflows for modeling and vegetation through Speedtree, and the integration of all the wetter digitals for hair grooming suites like the barbershop, environment building through City Builder, Scenic Designer, and lots of different powerful tools from there. And they were asked that, how did you get started with the enemies demo and what were your actual goals here? Then after they made the previous demo, which was the heretic, they released a tech package called the digital human package. And it contained all the technology that developed for that project, as well as a particular character asset. And at this 
point, then they wanted to take the opportunity to improve the overall quality of digital humans and take it to the next level. But they wanted to have a very deep solution for hair. And this is why the project sort of took a big stand. And then on the actual IP side of this, the enemies project was written as a larger cinematic in which the intended scope to work that is quite ambitious, specifically with two characters on screen at the same time talking, engaging in conversation with specifically each other. And this opens up many more challenges and problems to solve. And it's very tempting to do because they're always trying to break new ground at Unity. And they were going through pre-production and planning and they realized that breaking it down into smaller chunks would be far more realistic thing to do. So Veselin and the team's creative directors wrote the enemy's teaser as a smaller piece of the actual entire bigger project Project, which contain one of the characters and it's indicative of the themes and the mood of the overall piece. And this is what they'll be releasing today in this demo with Unity's recent acquisition of Ziva Dynamics. We will have hopes that it'll soon be possible to create a larger project which was originally intended because the technology allows them to have a much larger amount of very realistic facial performances. And then they were asked about the actual production and how much time did it take to finish the demo? What was the process and how did you combine the different workflows? And they said disregarding the pre-production for the final cinematic demo, we spent over a year working on this teaser alone. So this short two minutes and a lot of time went into preparing the technology and evolving it alongside the production. They also collaborated with Unity's engineering team so that the hair system is consistent and the workflow is so that it's validated and smooth from authoring through import and simulation directly in Unity to everything where it includes shading and rendering. And then in parallel to that, the tech team and the content production was also taking place with the usual moments. They had to cast the actress for the role, rehearse the part, prototype the direction by recorder in the video first. Then they had the validated and intended to produce. They produced a replicating the same scanline pipeline which used in the Heretic for 3D scan at 4D Max Studio. So the 4D scan uh, infinite realities, having processed the data in real time. Additionally, for the body and hand motions, the studio in Paris called Mocap Lab, which specializes very specifically in hand animation. So the hair specifically was entirely created separately and worked with an artist who specializes in hair grooms in the visual effects industry. They had more than one specific variation created, which allows them to experiment more widely during the development of the hair system. And the hair system should be able to handle a wide variety of hair types and styles as they continue continue to work on it. A large amount of time fell onto their 3D artist, Plaman Tamnev, and who covered about 90% of the actual 3D art which was done in this project because it was extremely high detail and he was working on all of the character art and the hair setups, as well as on the dress, which he created in Marvelous Designer, and the whole environment from the design to the execution. And then they were asked about the most important technological advancement in digital human creation, including the moving of skin attachment system on the GPU. So the entire feature set of HDR has been evolved in the Unity 2022 release, adding significant improvements and performance optimizations to make features robust for real time scale productions. And a number of new systems have been added to the feature set, including support for shader graph, motion vectors, adaptive probe volumes for global illumination, major improvements to SSGI, screen space reflections, and so many more. All are leveraged in the demo, including the DLSS and really crisp 4K resolution. They were specifically asked if it's getting easier to generate realistic digital humans and what is the main limitation at the point for smaller scale teams and individuals who plan to sort of deal with in line of big studios or individual creators. And they said that in the latest developments of graphics technology and the engine capabilities, many of the obstacle that existed previously for realistic digital human creation are falling away. However, in the highest quality productions that have previously shipped in the AAA space, believable realistic characters are extremely complex to produce, require extremely specific expertise from dedicated teams and a great deal of time to create. Furthermore, because of the complexity of making current pipeline stages, for example, rigging, 
uh, puppeteering and developing creatives and iterating on character design, the tight loop between the game and the story design and the character cell, this limits what stories they're able to tell while the players can interact with these characters. And it's still very complex, clunky, fragile, and it requires a very bespoke sort of pipeline to be able to do it. A single high quality character can cost upwards of four months for a team of 12 to create. Simply put, character creation is one of the costliest aspects of game creation. It's one that they need to improve on the most, and it's even a challenge for big studios to be able to produce. So what they're focused on is building and solve a set of issue that's Unity has a major simplification of the character creation pipeline with accessible tools like Ziva Faces, Ziva RT Trainer, and many others, and take that lengthy creation time of weeks, if not months, per character head to a mere hours with a button click on the cloud for Ziva Faces, for example, to create a fully rigged face puppet, these novel character creation pipeline tools aid to remove friction between the existing creation pipelines and only accelerate the creation process, but also make it more accessible for a wider range of creators. Another aspect that they'll have strongly, strongly going for is to bring believable character performances at the highest possible quality in a scalable way across a wide range of platforms and devices that Unity can be experienced on. And they're innovating on building on accessible pipelines to, to create performance capture from high-end head-mounted cameras, mobile devices, and to be able to get and capture high quality character performance. They were asked about if they had ways of automating stylized art and what are their thoughts on it. And that they said that the hair tech was developed and can support many different artistic styles, no matter whether that's a realistic or a specific stylized style in terms of simulation, animation, and shading. For an Unity example, their goal is to enable all kinds of creators to achieve any kind of real-time 3D project, and it also means that any artistic visual and stylization is appropriate. So the future may well hold a lot of advancements in terms of making fully believable characters. Whether you'll be able to use this and see this in your game is another question. Refined process that requires extremely high-end talent for a long, long time, but we'll see what happens in the future. Do let me know your thoughts down below and thank you so much for checking out my video. Do come and check out my Patreon to get over 125 different scripts, assets and projects you can't find anywhere else. Check out my great assets on the Unity store and check out my assets on my website to get really bonus discounts, including the link in the description for extra money off. So thank you to all my patrons and all the fantastic subscribers. Thank you for coming to watch and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.